What's good, everybody? Today, we're going to discuss the not-so-curious case of Kyle Rittenhouse and the recent trial that just happened. But before we get into that, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm one of your hosts, TK, a.k.a. TK Okin. And I'm Darius, a.k.a. Shoddy Pippin. And, and this, this is Mind the Gap. Gap. All right, so what are your initial thoughts of the case or wherever you want to start with it? Oh, uh, I'm not surprised. No, are you? No, no. Not surprised. And so, well, how how closely did you follow the case, this case when it was happening? I was watching it, man. I was really watching. I was watching like far as the cross-examination, what the judge was doing. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't watch every, oh, the you judge know. judge was wild, bro. Well, we can get in that later. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't like, you know. You know, some of some of the 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 questioning was like up to three hours. I ain't watched the whole three hour video. Mm -hmm. But I did watch some of the highlights and I did watch some of the you know what I'm saying, the some of the questioning and stuff like that. And then I, I did follow the case like like close closer mm -hmm. than like the average person. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't follow that closely because way back when this was like happening in the first place, I was like, they're not gonna charge him with anything. Yeah. Just cause just cause I saw you know, the whole move they was pulling when they did. The backgrounds of the people he shot, they pulled it up mm -hmm. saying that they were a convicted child rapist. One was like a bur the dude he shot was a burglar. Mm -hmm. Other dude uh was like a convicted woman beater. So you know how that goes. Yeah. Then they had the footage of him way back when when he was like, I'm just here to, you know, provide medical assistance to whoever needed. Then yeah. they showed footage of him asking, you know, protesters. Do you need medical assistance? Talking about getting pepper spray and stuff like that. Yeah. So I couldn't call it back then because from what they showed even back then, it was like, it's just self-defense. And they didn't show, like, we we don't see the footage before what happened. Mm -hmm. So we can't say that he provoked it. Yeah. So I was like, they already they already going to get him off. But for me, I thought of anything, because you, know you know how federal charges work. Yeah. They'll charge you with 20 just to get you with one. Yeah. So I thought, you know, because they, they, they operate like new additions. They're yeah. going to charge you for every little step. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought at the very least he was gonna catch that gun charge. That's the most that's what surprised me. Like they didn't even get him on the gun charge. I thought at least they'd probably get him on the gun charge. Mm -hmm. Cause you know he was underage or whatever. Yeah. Or I thought he was gonna get his mom or at least reckless endangerment. Somebody. So I, I thought one of those was gonna I thought it was gonna be like a real, you know, small his, charge. His, uh because I found out that in he didn't cross the state lines with the gun. Mm -hmm. He gave his friend who lived over Dominique. there. Dominique. Yeah, the money. Mm -hmm. He's on he's uh he has a trial coming up for providing him the weapon. Yeah. But they let him off. But it's since they left him off, allegedly. I don't know if they allegedly. <laughs> so since they let uh Cal off with the gun charge, they probably not gonna charge him. Probably so. Yeah. Because they uh the judge let him off, you know, for the the what the measurements of the gun and his interpretation of the measurement oh and his interpretations of the uh Wisconsin law or whatever the case yeah. may be. So if weird. for y'all don't know who don't know uh in regards to the gun charge, apparently you can have a gun in Wisconsin if you're underage, if it's used for hunting and it's not a short barreled uh, rifle. rifle gun. And that's like above 12 inches. I think they have yeah. said a foot. Yeah. And they couldn't for some reason measure it to see if it was under length. But either way, he still, he still under that law, he still should have been charged because he was underage and he wasn't using it for hunting. Now, mm -hmm. if you want to say he was hunting, then that changes the that look changes on. The dynamic yeah, of what but we, yeah. he obviously was not out there hunting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think on the very least he should have got that charge. Yeah, at, at, at the at the minimum. That, but and then that's the part that I was talking about. As far as I watched the question, when the prosecutor was questioning him on that, he was saying stuff like uh, he was talking about how uh, Dominique how he got the gun because it was cool, not because he was hunting or anything else. Mm -hmm. And then when the prosecutor pressed him about, you know, like you know you're not supposed to. It was something as far as the prosecutor was saying like, you know, you know, you know you're not supposed to have a, a pistol. A pistol uh, unlawfully. So, what made you think that you can have this rifle? Right. And he was saying, like up north, that these police, is, you know, tried to do this. That uh, they said that it was okay for me to have. It. And then the prosecutor was like, "Well, that's hearsay." Yeah. He, said, he was like, "Judge, I would like to enter that." That's another thing. If you watch the questioning of the prosecutor, whenever he was up there prosecuting, uh, when, when the prosecutor was up there questioning somebody, the judge was so harsh on him. Mm. Like I understand earlier when he tried to like throw that in there when the jury's out in, in the uh, courtroom, yeah, and the judge had to get the people out of the courtrooms for him and y'all saying to 
damn near like chastised the uh, prosecutor. The prosecutor tried to throw some slots in there. Uh, and what happened was the judge was like, I see what you're doing. Don't do that no more. We already talked about that. And we said we're not going to throw that in there. Yeah. So don't try to be sly. And I understand that the judge was already against him. But, but I mean, hell, like the, the prosecutor was, I mean, the judge already had his hand on the scale. Yeah. As far as like helping. Uh, Getting uh, him to pick his own jury. Yo, wow. And who knows what was in that box wow. and what was on, the, on that paper. Yeah. And that, Could have already the, been laid out to, you know what I'm saying? Which aided in the in the the dismissal of the 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 gun charge mm-hmm. or whatever because like when the prosecutor was, was talking to Cal about it, yeah, the judge was like, you know, what I'm saying he kept stopping the prosecutor in the middle, like say he the prosecutor would be on the road and then the judge would stop and explain something to the uh, the jury and the jury was like, you know, we good, like you mm-hmm. know, basically kind of looking at him and he would stop whenever he's on the road, it, judge would stop him again. I mean, at one point the the prosecutor asked. Uh, Cal, Cal was saying something like, you know, I got this gun at such and such. I didn't want to get it at Walmart, this place, and the third. And he was like, why you get it there? I'm, he was like, I'm pretty sure there was other places that you could have got it, uh, got mm-hmm. that gun at. Yeah. Correct. Which insinuates the question. Correct. Yeah. And the judge was like, before, and before he even got to the correct part, the judge answered, that's not a question. Stop. That's not a question. And the, uh, and the prosecutor just stood there for a minute. Because he, he's like, I know you're talking to me. I know I asked the question. Yeah. He said, it was a question. No, it wasn't. And then he had to rephrase the question. Like he was being like, the judge was being petty towards the prosecutor. Mm-hmm. But the prosecutor had already got to the point where he was on the bad side of the judge. So it was like, it was, it looked crazy because you already been biased in other areas and then you been harsh on the prosecutor. I only saw a few instances of the judge was showing favoritism towards Kyle. Mm-hmm. Like with his, like letting him draw his own jury people mm-hmm. out of that box, mystery box that we don't know about. Some other insinuations like the the ringtone he had, like in court, yeah, that was what uh, like the popular ringtone or it was like anthem, the, anthem it was, of like the proud Trump, Trump, yeah. no, Trump it supporters. Was Trump, it was like the Trump's theme song, yeah. Like that. yeah. And then so he already seemed to be the like black, the blacks uh, comment, the blacks comment, and also the victims comment. Mm. You can't call them victims in the courtroom, but you yeah. can call them. And, uh, you can and, uh, call them looters. You can call anything that make them look bad, but you can't call them anything that make them look sympathetic. Yeah, that's a fact. So it's. Like you already look crazy. Yeah. And then he tried to make it seem like it was the media portraying him in a bad light. No, you, you're you, saying you, these this. are your words. These are your these words. Are like the, we are your actions. This That's is what fact. you're doing. We're only showing the recordings of it. Yeah. So it's like And then I mean like I think they took the only black juror off, or well, there's only one black juror. Oh, that was at the beginning when they tried to like do the uh they kept changing jurors or mm-hmm. whatever. Whatever the case was in the beginning, they were doing something. I don't really don't know too much about that. But wasn't but, it ended up being an all white jury or something? No, nah, I think it was only one black. He oh, said yeah. something about it. Can you remember in that he I don't know if you've seen it, but he kept saying blacks. Yeah. yeah. I saw the blacks comment. Yeah. So that was for me, that was I was like, yo, my man. It's not a good look. That's not a good look on this yeah, on a high profile case like this. And I don't like that as far as jury. That's why I always tell people, man, if you have, especially black people, man, if you have an opportunity to do jury duty, please do jury duty. Yeah. That shows like the, it helps having people on a trial. I mean, help people have, it, it aids in having people on a jury that has empathetic um, empathy. Uh, empathy or have an empathy towards somebody that, that that's from a situation that they're from. You have yeah. an all right during they don't understand a person's Because oftentimes, like in that situation, I'm sure it's like I, I was that young man at one point. Mm-hmm. But we don't get a lot of people that minorities don't get that same, or oh, I was a kid once, or yeah. he looks like me when I was younger because we don't look like this. Yeah, because so. that's why a lot of times black people get twenty uh get twenty percent longer sentences yeah. than their white counterparts because that's of stuff just, like that. That's crazy because I've se- we both seen people get convicted of less. Yes. And this man, like so I like for him yes. to just get off. And he get the, you know, he's a kid, you know, that excuse. We saw, we've seen cases with less evidence where they tried to try, mm-hmm. you know, young kids who were like 14, 16, yeah. like as adults. And, yeah, try to, and then got off with yeah. it. Got off with it. That's the thing about it. Like, not saying, not saying Kyle had, didn't have a strong case. Yeah. Because the case itself was strong enough. Yeah. Because you got to prove that it wasn't self defense. All they had to do was prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. <clears throat> and, there was a lot of doubt in yeah. what we saw. So like it was he he was already in a good position. That's I mean, why that's why the only thing I was surprised was the gun charge. Yeah, because I, th- I think the anger that is, yeah, that, that's a fact. Yeah, but I think the anger comes from that we don't get that same like grace, right, or mercy. Yeah, and it's like yo, if that was so we want like, they and he just happened to be the one up. Like yeah. we were saying, sometimes it's not even about the person; it's because they the one up right now. Yeah, so I like man, it's. We we seen it and then like we both knew like he gonna get off. Yeah. The hard part about it is actually hearing it. Yeah. 
it's like you know something coming, but when it's like okay, well, I know we're about to get in a fight, but you but once you get punched in the face, it's like oh, I'm in a fight. So it's it's here. Now. It's different. It's here. But even like even hearing some of the witness statements, like you could definitely tell he was get out because they questioned the dude. Because initially when they showed the video, we found out I found out that one of the dudes had a gun that ran up on him. I was like, oh, of course they. I mean, of course they look bad. And then on the stand, he was like, yeah, he didn't shoot me until I pointed the gun at him. Yeah. So I was like, of course they're gonna let him off now. But in that in that incident with, with the dude, he thought he was like, man, I thought he was at the shooter. Yeah. And then when he pulled it, he was like, oh, this is a kid. Right. And then he got shot. It yeah. was like, well, it was like, yeah. So it was like, it made sense that like his situation is cool, but the first guy, uh, I just don't know how that happened. The first shoot, how it initially broke off. Well, it was said that it was something going down, and then there was an incident between him and Kyle, and they was arguing. Then you know he had the gun. Then the guy said, "Well, Kyle said, you know." Uh, if I catch one of you, you know, efforts up by, by yourself, I'm going to kill you. Something, something to that degree. That's okay. what Kyle said. Oh, if we had footage of that, then it would be a different been, story. Different story, okay. but according to that's Kyle, not the person. that You can't hear the story. From yeah, it's just say. hearsay. Yeah, so, so like when you, then you see him kind of like chase him, and then somebody shoots. Yeah. Not nobody that, that was chasing him. Well, it doesn't look like there was somebody that was chasing him. Somebody shoots, and that's Kyle running behind the car. Kyle turns around because the dude was closing in on him. Mm -hmm. And Kyle said that the guy touched the guy, uh, gun allegedly. Yeah. But the guy it, from the drone footage, I don't, that's another thing the judge did. Judge, I think he said something about zooming in, and he made like a whole thing about how his friends make fun of him yeah. uh, through text message. So he sent he sent himself an email, and in that email, he um, he zooms in, and when he zooms in into the email, he can't see. So you saying that y'all shouldn't be able to y'all shouldn't zoom in because when you zoom in, you ain't gonna be able to tell what's going on. So he has he like it was like the judge was just doing too much. He was too involved in the case for me. So even with that like situation, that's his nephew or something. Yeah. So when the dude uh the dude like he lunged at him, when he lunged at him, that's when Cal shot him. Mm -hmm. Cal said he had his hand on the gun, so he felt threatened. Yeah. You know, that that age old statement, you know, I felt like my life was in danger. Which, Which is, is you know, like I, and we can talk about this later, but I'm just tired of people putting themselves in situations where they can be harmed. And I, not saying like directly this this instance because I don't know what happened before that happened. Yeah, but I'm just tired of people putting themselves in harm's way, and then when they're forced to defend themselves, being able to get off on like stand your ground. Yeah, like we need to do something about like Trayvon that. Martin and uh, yeah, them. they told yeah. him to stay at home, and yeah. he went out there starting trouble, and somehow he still got off. No charges. So it's like that's 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 what I came a millionaire. That's what I, I hate that. And signing and signing this no signing Skittles and 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 lemonade. That's not apologetic, mean. and that's kind of the same behavior. Well, not exactly the same behavior, but we see after he got a ring, Kyle was out with the Proud Boys mm -hmm. throwing up their little symbol mm -hmm. and drinking beer out there with his mom and stuff. Yeah, and I think the mom should be charged too. What? The mom should be charged with something because you was with him. But if you throw the gun charge out, then it, then yeah, maybe you don't not. really have anything to charge it with. So. Yeah, but like you drew, you drove him through state lines and you dropped him off inside of a in danger in danger zone. Yeah, like the, that, that's a dangerous potentially. Zone. Isn't it like child endangerment or something? Neglect something I'm, something. He's Seventeen at the time. Yeah, I think also they said his he had like a grandfather, yeah, a dad over or something. Okay. I don't, so I don't know if they were at the protest or they was he had chaperones. That might say. Yeah, but for your mom to to drive you somewhere. Knowing your intentions, that's kind of wild. Yeah, and for you to get off like that, and then the, it's not. Well, that's if they could prove that he had bad intentions. Well, so that's all. Like we can't. If he said, and, and, and that's another thing that the judge wanted to throw out because the the prosecutor wanted to talk about. Okay, there was a time when he said uh, there was another riot. Uh, supposedly, and, and Kyle allegedly said, "If uh, I wish I was there with my rifle that, that when they rioted." Mm. You feel me? So he already he said, "I want to come here and protect." They yeah. In the third, so you know that he you drop your son off inside of a a area where there's going to be chaos, or it's yeah. going to be violence or danger or something like that. And you intentionally say, "Okay, I'm gonna drop you off." So that's why the the craziest thing for me is, or the most important thing to me is, is that like this incentivizes other people to do the same thing. Yeah. That's that's dangerous. Now you're gonna have other people going out here saying, "Well, I'm gonna drive five states, six states, one state, or whatever the case may be." Into this other uh, uh, state and protect them, and then if I feel like my life is in danger, then I'm gonna shoot. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, man, you should go to a lot of clan rallies and just jump right there in the middle when they burn the uh, burn the fight. And at any yeah. moment that they attack, we should let off on them. Yeah. If we feel, you know, threatened. Threatened. You know, looking back on it, you know who I don't think are getting enough of the blame is the police. Cause Why is that? 
looking looking back on the situation, and I think the head of police or somebody was over him, was sending out an email beforehand or contacting the group that Kyle was a part of, saying like we're gonna need help containing these oh, violent yeah, thugs. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then it's like we're gonna push them down to the south so y'all can handle them, stuff like that. So they had did a the part police actually say they did that. I'm not sure. But but I remember the guy out, said, it came out reports yeah, that, that report, happened, yeah. saying that happened. He's like, we're gonna push them down to the south. This way, tear them, gas them that way, so you guys can handle them. So I think, in a lot of ways, they facil- facilitated for something like that to happen. Yeah. And I'm also confused, like, did he get separated from everybody? Because, like, where was everybody he with, and why did nobody else get shot? Like, why did they know not to shoot anybody, but he ended up in that situation? I don't know. I think I think there was an altercation between him and that one guy, because I mm-hmm. think, if I'm not saying they tried to set, like, a dumpster fire, and he was, like, preventing them from doing that. Yeah. And pushing yeah. them into, the, like, the the... Store or whatever. Store, I think it was like a tire place, maybe. Uh, mm-hmm. And he was preventing them. And I think that's what ended up happening with him being, he went over there on his own to stop that. And then he got into it with another individual. Yeah. And then also with that, uh, like the, the the first guy, getting, or the second guy getting shot with a skateboard, mm-hmm. you hear people saying, hey, he just shot and killed somebody. Yeah. So what you hear is that I, this is an active shooter. This person has shot somebody. Right. He needs to be stopped. Why yeah. does he have a gun? Why do he have a gun out here? Mm-hmm. He just killed somebody. We need to handle that. Right. And then he gets shot actually thinking or believing. Uh, we don't know what he was thinking, but I would assume that he was thinking that, hey, I'm, I'm stopping somebody. Because that's at least what the person that said that got his, uh, his hand shot. Right. He was like, I thought I was looking. I thought I was, thought, I thought it was that shooter. Yeah. Which I would have thought too, because you all you hear people saying he just shot, he shot and killed He somebody. just shot and killed somebody. Right. Like, oh, it was a lot going on in that moment. And I'm again, I understand everything is a split second type right. of situation, but like you put yourself in a situation, and that, and that, and I, and I get a prosecutor that the prosecutor was like, "This is why people of his age shouldn't have guns. This is this, this is, is why the, there's already a law, yeah, saying you can only do this in a certain situation, and yeah. you're not in that situation when you have somebody a chaperone. Yeah, this is why we have. Where was place. the people around you? Yeah, so I get that, Brad. That, and that was and for me, that's a strong thing. But then you know they gonna flip it. You know, like you trying to make sure like you have to shoot, but he was just defending himself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't like I not to cut you off. You are you? Oh yeah, you good, you good. You good. I don't like this whole spinning that he's a hero. Now you're not a hero for getting yourself in a situation like that. Like stop it. Yeah. Stop making heroes out of these people. And making villains out of people who actually the victims. Yeah. Like Trayvon Martin, what was he doing? I'm oh, tired oh, of these oh. people like Darren Wilson, uh Zimmerman becoming millionaires because they put they making the wrong decisions, being making hasty decisions, and then people like it's it, it's on both sides, bro. Like George Floyd was the one because he that happened to him at that point mm-hmm. that made Derek Chauvin the one. So it was this side, these were both their champions. And that happens over and over and again. Same, and, that, and I'm like, same. where's the median? Like, are y'all like for real? You know what the median is. There is none. The median is only when it's it's that it's that American us versus them thing. Tamir Rice, that that situation. I have a toy gun and yet I'm out here getting playing. And he shot That's him like, within two seconds of two being seconds. at the playground. And uh Crawford, the guy that was at the Walmart with the fake rifle, immediately shot. Meanwhile, this guy who actually shot somebody is protected. Not um, not only in the moment, but also in court. Yeah, these are the things that like black people say. Like, why? Where is our grace like that? Where's our mercy where is like our that? benefit of the doubt? Yeah, it's like, not saying that he should have been found guilty, you know, but we're saying like, why don't we get that same that same like look? Yeah, that I we think don't get that look. That's the that's the problem. Like, if well, that had this? been Amar Arbery on that stand, Ooh, they would have got him with something. Got him with it, something. It something. They'd have brought up everything in that man's history. Just like they did, and he died. Well, yeah. you know, he stole the TV at Walmart, or he. This is an incident where the police ran up on him while he was just sitting in the park. Even though, even though when he was in the park, yeah. minding his own business, just sitting there because he's been working. Apparently, what he says, I've been working six days. This is my only day off, and I'm resting. Yeah, he still they still tried to villainize him when the police ran up on him, bothering and questioning him when he ain't done nothing. That's what we. I, I think that's that's the what the problem. frustration is. The biggest problem is like why do we why are we looked at as the aggressors when we just chilling a lot of times? Why do we get the most the, the most time when we did the same crime as somebody that was white? Yeah. Are we not are we not human too? Are we not part of this this race? Are we not part are of this? Are we country? not American? Yeah, like what is the like why do we get that? 
So that I think that's the biggest reason why people are upset. Mm -hmm. It's like because we know if anybody else was running uh, uh, running up them steps at the Capitol, shot dead. If anybody else, was if running it was a wave of black people upset at the election, the spin that they would put on that, bro. What? They tear gassed us when he wanted to come out and hold that Bible upside down. They didn't even tear gas them. They they had to tear gas. Mm. One person got killed. One 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 capital uh, uh police shot somebody and killed him, and they villainized him. Before he, they even knew he was black. Yeah, he was black. And Before, they and they yeah, but they that's just icing on the cake. Yeah, that was just icing being on the black. cake. But they was already done with him when they found that she got shot, like you said. And then and it's like it's crazy how easily people flip on people they once champion. All about the police, mm-hmm. gotta protect the police, boys in blue, blue wall, all this. But then they find out the boys in blue had to protect themselves against them. Then all of a sudden, oh, they traitors, they working on the other side, or they still doing their job, and y'all just happen to be on the wrong side this time. Trash. Trash. Can't make up your mind. But not to die, you know, we diverging from yeah. the trial a little bit. We going off on the tangent, but but that's but 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 to stay on tangent with that and and the, the bonds, it's that old uh, that's an old American nationalism, patriotism, like stuff that people go through in America. This is like, why I'm afraid of people with flags in their yard. Yeah, bro. To, the, and to this day, and it's crazy and it's and it's messed up to say. Mm-hmm. But when I see somebody with the huge flag on the back of their truck and it's waving, or they got these big flags on their line, I was like, you have a little bit too much patriotism in you for me to feel safe about. Yeah, and that's what's sad because we know it that 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 is it goes beyond patriotism. It's that what, what is it nat- nationalism? Yeah, that um that that movement is just a is a, like a, a notch up from being like proud to be American <laughs> that has a lot of connotations to it that's like yeah. got a lot of a lot, lot of connection to being like a Nazi yeah have two like it's just it's just like it's about four to five levels from being there yeah it's, it's but it's on the way it's on the way it's on the way it's just like this is our country this is what we it's like no it's our country our country is made of immigrants our color our country is made of like different races and yeah. colors when you see Chinese people in the in the Olympics, you can understand those Chinese. People. When you watch American people in the Olympics, you see multicolored people. You see right. people that that look like they Asian. You see people that look like they that look like they black. You see people that are white. You see people that are black. You see people all these people in the Olympics, but you don't. They, we view them as Americans up until they come home. Yeah, same and thing. Then, they really did. Like when they in the war, hey, they they are troops. Yeah, they not black. They not white. They are troops. They Americans. Come home. Go, yeah, same thing with Olympics, like you know what I'm saying. When when uh, what was the Olymp- France? No, 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 no the, yeah. the 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 gymnast. Uh, Which one? The best gymnast, Simone Biles. Simone, when when she said, "You know, I'm I'm having a mental break." See how they went at went at her. So, broke, you, broke it down. You need to do better. You need to do better. Like first of all, I got more gold medals than anybody you know, yeah. including yourself. Mm-hmm. Anybody. But let her actually go out and do that flip and then break her neck or something. Yeah. Who cares? Anyway, but that's what I'm saying, bro. We do not get that same grace. We do not get that same. That's that, what's exhaust. That's what that's, that's the exhaust part. It's bro. just like we get it because I can't say because I don't like I said I don't know if he was provoked. All this hearsay. All I can see from the footage look like it was self defense, mm-hmm. or may or it can be spun easily that it was self defense. Yeah. So I'm like I'm cool I with that. that yeah. I think he still still should uh, should have still got charged with gun charge. Mm-hmm. But my thing is is that. Like you saying, the judge extended him every bit of grace that he could to help this young man out, and we just don't we just don't get that look. We don't, bro. We don't. From the all yeah. that. All Let me that. tell you something. Only like that to me that was fake crying. Of course, like that that was hideous. That was bad acting. He was bad acting. The only time I I thought his uh tears was real was at the end when he was relieved I that, that he was yeah. I believe, I believe that. that. Was like, I believe Cause he, yeah. he that was real. But this, yeah, that right there, nah. I was like, bro, you should uh, guilty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, guilty. Off that alone, man. Listen, man, that was ridiculous, man. Like that whole. And again, I'm not saying that the case wasn't strong. It's it's that's a, a strong. He a has strong a strong case. case. That's a strong case. You can't we, prove his intention. That's the can't whole prove thing. His and the people that was there can't. They they did now. They can't say nothing. Yeah. The only ones can say something. The person with the gun. And he the one pointed it, which which caused him to get shot. Yeah. So I get it. I'm not even mad at it. It's the fact that if we know that if we was in the same situation, black people, brown people do not get that same grace. 
they would have brought up anything that person had done in the past. Yeah. And then the same thing, if you watch the arm, like, bro, we're going to get into that. But if you watch that case, they're doing the same. I'm like, yo. He wasn't a squeaky clean. He wasn't. What does that have to do with the incident that happened that day? What does that have to, what do they pass have to do with what Kyle did that day? That day. Because unless you say he stopped them in the mid of what they was doing, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of what a lot of people don't factor in. I don't care if they was a terrible person. They could have been Hitler. <laughs> For all I care. Yeah. But in this in moment, this moment here, did he have the right to do that? Okay. Because they passed don't lend to that. No. That's the same thing when they bring up in uh uh which which is why I was I was kind of cool with the judge throwing it out that he said uh the cow said whatever he said in the past. He was like, prosecutor don't bring it up. Yeah. Or whatever the case is. And I understand why the prosecutor did it, but regardless. That's the same reason a lot of times in cases where like say a uh, escort or a prostitute is being like that that's been raped or sexually assaulted, they say you can't bring it up. Mm-hmm. Her past has nothing to do with what what happened. Right. And I don't like when people do that. When you bring up old pictures or they bring up like bad images, them because you're trying to paint that person in a bad light. Yeah, to make it okay that they took their life. Yeah, you trying to make you trying to like that's not what somebody. we're here for. It's not this what person, justice is. The earth is the, the world is much better without this person. It's like no, bro. Okay, don't but do that. But did they still do the wrong thing? Yeah, in that moment in time, was was he wrong in that moment in time? If no, then hush. Speak only about the case or about the present of, uh, of what's going on right now. Yeah. That's it. That's know. all we want to know is the facts of the case. That's that's the thing. That, it's just, it's like, what else do it? That, that's why I tell people, man. I tell people all the time, bro. You won't, you won't change, let black people get involved. You won't, you won't gun laws change. Let, 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 Everybody start getting black, let black people get, sign up for the uh, uh, NRA. Let black people start, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 standing their ground. Mm-hmm. Let any moment like, against white people. Let 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 that start happen and see what happens. Well, that's part of the law. Like we were saying the other day, man. The the voting laws had been the same for years, but as soon as they lost that, that last election, all of a sudden giving people food in line was a problem. Yeah. When when did that become a problem? When did giving people water and drink was a problem? Hasn't been, but now since they lost, yeah. We got to change them rules up. Them IDs was wasn't a problem when when Trump was in. When Trump, yeah, he when Trump was in, got in. wasn't a problem then. wasn't a problem then. wasn't a problem when Bush got in. But now it's a problem. Apparent, disgusting, tired of it. So now you can just hire. Well, when when it was a problem when y'all can just hire your own. Well, we can hire our own people to come in here and watch y'all do your thing. But but why are y'all doing that now? Yeah. What what made you do it? What made you do it now? Because your man yeah. lost. Why didn't y'all do that back when Trump won? And if you got if you got <laughs> you can be this quick and this swift about changing the law. Why why are y'all not being as quick and swift about laws that can help the people in your district, the people in your like, yeah. region? What's taking so long about that? The way they come up with these sweeping laws that somehow end up in all these state, all these red states at the same time, pitched the same way, but then they struggle to find funding here or funding there. Or, for for their own people, yeah, for their own constituents is is mind boggling. It's not that's the, that's the crazy thing about it. It's not for your fellow. It's not even for your like the the the, the nation. Yeah, it's not even for other states. It's for your state. Yeah, the way you will jump on the bandwagon so fast to just keep just keep people to uh to keep voting for you instead of having people out there that's thriving in your area, you will just jump on the bandwagon. Oh, it's the voting rights. It's, it's this, that, and the third. Meanwhile, you got plenty of other things that you could be fighting for that you're leaving your people out here uh, dead in. Yeah. That's that's my biggest issue with that. It's like, bro, we only, like, the pe- like our society, especially in America, has got to the point where we only, like, it's like, it's the headline culture. Mm. It's like, you know what I'm saying, whatever's popular, whatever's winning right now. It's like, whatever gets people rowdy, whatever gets people going. Provocative. It's, 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 gets yeah. the people going. It's not. <laughs> like your people are, and that, you know the crazy thing even the, the craziest thing is the people that's voting for them are starving they are starving I see so many like oh my god bro it's so it's so exhausting like how one side will be like we want to put money in your pockets and people will fight so hard to be like we don't need your hand out how about we, you the person that live in the trailer yeah. how about you they got like a hundred and uh, six. Sixty uh, percent uh, uh, interest loan that's about to be out of business. You talk about you that you know what I'm saying can't part, can't pay your car payment. 
Like you, you it's, don't need no hands. It's always we try to we we about American values. It's about the American family. But anytime we want to actually do something to help the American family, that has been proven to work. They like no. That's that's communism. That's socialism. We're not about that Fascist. because capitalism is so great. It's working out for everybody. <laughs> It just be trickling down. It just what? be we just we, we, we just, don't we have just, enough buckets to catch yeah. all this. You know what, you know what I mean? mean? Come on, man. Sick That's up, ridiculous. Bro. Sick up. Get your get your life together. That has bro. everything to do with education. Man, we just gonna keep going down the hole, bro. It's, yeah. What, what's your final thoughts, bro? Hey, man, it's trash, man. Show show people of color some grace. Yeah. Or or, or be consistent. Or, or across people, the board. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. Or people of, of color, make them show you some grace. Put yourself in a position to make them show you some grace. What about yourself? My final thoughts are let it go. You know what I mean, he he got this one. Like I said, we can't see his intention, so I'm cool with that. Still surprised he got off on a gun charge. But my thing is we need to save our energy for the Samar Arbery case. Yeah. Because that's what I'm focused on. Because, look, if they get off, uh, we're going to have to take a trip to Georgia. Yeah, bro, we got to, bro. If they if they get off, bro, we might be live in Georgia. Yeah, there might be an episode. In on the, we we on the scene. Yeah, that that's a uh, that's that's more than clear cut. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. It should be. So thank you for joining us, episode. Uh, appreciate if you joined us or made it to this far in the episode. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Help help us with the algorithm. It's a fact. Leave some comments. Discuss what what are your yeah. thoughts on the cow case. How Please do you feel about comment. it? You know what I'm saying? Please if, leave any, if, if any video you want to comment, this is one of the ones you should. That's so a fact. Let us know. We go back and forth. All right. And mind, mind the gap. The gap.